In this JavaScript tutorial, we're going to be talking about functions, but more specifically, passing values into functions. So let's create just a generic function that nothing's passed into it quite yet. Now all it's going to do is say hi, just a simple little greeting. Now, if we try to run this, it doesn't do anything because we haven't called this function. Functions only work or only get ran when we call them. The name of this function is greeting, and then we put two parentheses and a semicolon, and we get hi. Now, this isn't too personal. Most of the times when you go to a website, it doesn't say just hi when you log in. It says like hi Bob or hi Steve or something. So what we can do is we can give the function some information, and we do that inside the parentheses here. In this case, we wanna give it a name. We wanna pass a name into it so we can use it down here. So what we can do is say hi, and then we can add on the person's name. So hi, Steve, hi, Mary, or whatever. Now, if we run this, we get hi undefined. Because when we called the function, we didn't give it any name. We didn't pass any value in here. So name doesn't have a value. What we need to do is we need to give it a value. So we can give it like Dave. So now if we run this, we get, hi, Dave. Not the best, maybe, but let's ramp it up a little bit. We can prompt the user to enter their name. Enter your name. And now if we run this and we type in Mary, it says, hi, Mary. That's pretty cool. A little bit more formal. Um, another thing we can do is we can give, like we can pass in more than one thing. Right now we're just passing in name. Let's pass in something else like um, the time of day. So we'll pass in just a Boolean, maybe like, is it the morning or is it not the morning? So the greeting part, this is the first entry or the first argument of our function which is going to be placed inside the variable name. And then the second part if it is if it's morning or not. And we'll just put true in this case. So name will hold the value that we enter in and is morning will hold the value true. Uh, let's do a little if statement to check if it's morning. Because if it's morning, we want to give some kind of, a different kind of greeting. So just saying hi, because that's a little boring sometimes. So we'll say good morning and then the person's name. And then if it's not morning, so if it's anything else, we will do good evening. We'll just assume that there's only mornings and evenings, no afternoons or anything like that. So let's, let's run this. Let's see what happens. So we'll put in a name, Steve. Good morning, Steve. So, is morning held the word true? And if true, because is morning is true, so this one, this statement is true, therefore this will run. If we change this to false, or basically any other word, we'll actually also equal false. And we run it, and we type in Tim. Good evening, Tim. So with functions, we can pass nothing, we can pass one thing, we can pass two things, we can pass a bunch of things.